Now, I know what you're thinking. Tanner, where have you been? You were gone the whole summer. No videos. Nothing. We thought you died. I'm sure nobody thought that, but I'm also positive there is a non-zero number that may have thought that. Um, I could give you this long answer about how, like, I wanted the summer off to reconnect with myself, to get on my creative side, but in retrospect, I got busy. A little lazy. Um, lots of stuff changed this summer. Um, the biggest one being I changed jobs. So training and getting all set up in that was basically a four month process and what can I say I love my new job but so doing the videos kind of took a back burner but I'm back not with a vengeance so my goal is I'm gonna try and make more videos more content to you guys but today today I'm basically doing a whole gear loadout like everything that I use like everything from my backpack to my desk it's just everything now we have seen some before some of them may be new but my goal with this is like I said I'm gonna show you everything because as of right now it's September 4th it's actually Labor Day so happy Labor Day guys um but it's also the beginning of gadget season like next week is the iPhone event which basically starts off gadget season so my goal is is that I'm gonna like kind of go through everything and then maybe at the end of the year beginning of next year we'll do like a breakdown video of everything that changed from this video but you also get to see all my stuff some of it's cool some of it's just meh but we'll check it out together so the first thing we're gonna start out is actually the desk so let's go All right, so for this first clip, we're going handheld mode, so I apologize in advance if it's wobbly. Um, so the desk is actually the same butcher block I have been using since 2020. Um, I built this desk um, in I built this desk in 2020 when I worked at Menards, and I got this. This used to be an old top of a workbench that the store was getting rid of that I got for super cheap. So I've been using that with the metal pipe legs that I put on it. Um, right here, I have my MacBook Air. This is the 2022 version with the M2 chip. And then inside it, I just have this dock from Satoshi that has a bunch of ports. It has two USB-C ports to replace the ones that it's covering up. And it has an additional HDMI, USB-A times two, a micro SD card slot and a regular SD card slot and it still has room for the MagSafe charger. Um, over here, just my lamp, which I've had for years. It's just a cheap lamp that I found at Walmart. It has a wireless charger in there that I don't really use because it makes the, the light make noise. So I don't use it. Um, which This is just a cup full of pens. I think it says class of 2017 when I graduated. Um, and this is just a coaster that I move onto the desk when I have some drinks on here. Um, it's actually a homemade coaster that I got in Door County this last July when my family, I was there on vacation with my family. And then some scissors and a ruler. And then I have some bracelets on here that my wife has made me. And then this is just a Bluetooth for work. Um, over here, I have a little knife organizer that has some of my favorite knives in it. I have my bug out my mini griptilian my leatherman p4 this is a milwaukee fastback that uses regular razor blades and has a screwdriver on it and this is just a little gerber with a screwdriver and a knife um, my little hook that i put on here with my sony 1000 xm3s uh, yes they are very old at this point but i rarely use over here headphones so i don't feel the need to replace them um actually we're gonna go under the desk because that's where some fun stuff is i have everything that powers that goes to the monitor under the desk so this is my mac mini my m2 mac mini and then right over here i have my seagate eight terabyte hard drive and then behind that i just have a power strip that's velcroed to the desk and then it's supposed to be under the desk but i'm too far from the outlet so there's a power strip that powers that for now i'm gonna fix that at some point and then this is just a little SD card reader for the Mac Mini. 
And then up here, I have my monitor. It is a Samsung 27 inch curved monitor. It's still, again, pretty old at this point, but I don't feel the need to change it. As you can see, there's a reoccurring theme here. Um, I have the regular Apple Magic Keyboard for it. And then for my mouse, I have the Logitech MX Master 3S. Um, I love it. It's a little overkill for what I use it for, but basically I have everything set up just as a mouse and my little scroll wheel is set to go through my timeline when I'm editing. Um, I have a iPad mini and this is just a little dock that I got when I originally had my iPad Air that has HDMI, USB-A, USB-C, and headphone jack. Um, when I switched from the Air to the Mini, I just kept it, and so I'll just throw it on there if I ever need to use anything on it. And then I have a MagSafe Duo charger on my desk, and I just, it used to go on my nightstand, but now I have um, an Anchor charger that I made a little short about that's on my nightstand, so that one got moved to the desk, and yeah. This is the desk. Let's move on to the backpack. Now, here's the thing about the backpacks, guys. As you all know, I may or may not have a slight fascination with backpacks. Um, also, one of my last videos, I literally titled it, The King Was Dethroned. And I was talking about how I preferred my nomadic travel backpack over my Peter McKinnon nomadic backpack. Well... There's a reason that I called it the king is because I've been using it again. I just, I can't help it. I just, I, I like it so much. I don't know if it's because I'm a total, I'm just fangirling about Peter McKinnon and I feel the need to use his backpack or just because I like it and it's a good backpack. Also, side note, Peter McKinnon, if you're watching this, I would like to buy a Pete's Pirate Life hat and I cannot find one. And I, it makes me sad. Somebody please help me find one. I'm begging you. But, back to this reality. I've been going back and forth this summer from the Pete McKinnon bag and the Peak Design Everyday Bag V2. This is the 20 liter. Peter McKinnon's is a 25 liter. Um, basically, the difference is just whatever I'm feeling. Um, I like this one because it's super organized and easy to find everything. Um, but the only downside of it is just the fact that it's 25 liters and sometimes when I have it packed full, it's heavy and I look like a turtle. So if I want to look more low key, I will use this backpack, but I don't care about looking like a turtle. I mean, turtles are cool. So I use this one more often than not. But my thought was everything's in this bag right now. So I'll empty this bag, show you what's all in there and then I can show you how I load it out in this bag. Sounds good? I thought so, because it was a good idea that I came up with. But let's take a look, shall we? Okay, so we're just gonna start out with the top of the bag. Open it up. There's a bunch of goodies inside. So in this first pocket, we have sunglasses. I wear these every day. These are my Oakley Holbrooks, I believe they're called. And then I just like them because the Oakleys actually have the American flag on them. So those I keep in there with the sleeve. Um, in here, I also have multiple pairs of earbuds. So I have some Beat Studio Buds Plus. Um, they're in the translucent version, which is the best version. I don't care what anybody says. And I also have a pair of Beats Fit Pros Buds. In here, I also have my wallet, which is my Ridge wallet in the black aluminum. I have my cleaning tool from XOXO with the little bristle brush and the screen cleaner on it that is very dirty. I have pens. So I have my big 3 in 1 pen and pencil. I have my space pen, and I also have my Apple Pencil in there. I don't always keep it on the iPad, just because I don't always use it, and it likes to fall off. And then, that's all in that bag. So, in the side pockets up here, in this one I normally keep my AirPods, but 
they're not back in there. And in this one, we have one of our Androids. This is the Galaxy Z Flip 5. I'm gonna keep in there. And this front pouch, I have, I normally keep my Pixel 7, my iPad mini will go in that front pouch. My Nintendo Switch will also go in that front pouch. It's still the older version, not the original version. It's the re-released first version that has the bigger battery with this case that I found on Amazon that has a cover that you can just take off so you can play it. And I have the Blue Ninja Blue Joy-Con. And also in this pocket, I keep I've shown this before on the channel and it's pretty much the same. It's my little GoPro case that has all of my camera gear in it, which is my ZV-1 from Sony, my GoPro Hero 9 with the uh, creator mod, the little smartphone tripod from Joby, and then there's another Joby tripod and a mic that go in here along with a Moment MagSafe tripod mount, but I'm currently using that, so it's not in here. And then this is actually new. This is a little Bellroy Orbit Key collaboration. It's a little desk organizer. Um, this is made of leather and there's actually a wireless charger in this part right here. It's not actually the best wireless charger, but we'll go through the entireties of this in a second. And that is it for this top compartment. Now for the back side of this bag, because this bag opens from the back. On the handle here, I just have some hero clips. Um, it's a little excessive to have two of them. I don't really need two of them because they'll both hold 50 pounds. But, and this is totally an OCD thing, but on some of the backpacks that I have, if they don't have a cushion handle, so the one being in the middle will just cause it to misshape basically. And so that's why I have the two, but I'll throw those on there. Um, right here we have a laptop compartment, fits up to a 16 inch laptop, and I just have my MacBook Air in there, and then on the straps here is also a pass through for luggage strap, and then if you come on this side, this zipper goes all the way around the bag, and then we can open it up and see this inside part of the bag. Um, I've talked about it before with the ladder system in this bag. I just have the one cube face it this way so I can get into the bag from the top. But in this bottom cube, I have it's basically all my DJI themed things. So I have my DJI Osmos 6 gimbal that I'll throw in there. And then instead of the actual clamp that comes with it, I've opted for this little guy that I found on Amazon. It's a MagSafe one. And so it has a little clip to go onto the gimbal. And then you can throw it on the back of your phone with MagSafe. Um, I'm not opening it because this is the one that turns on automatically when I open it. And I don't feel like going through work turn it off. Um, also in this, I just have a big old battery. This is my Mophie 20,000 mAh battery. This is still the fabric one. I've had it for years. And then just in these next couple drawers is all the stuff for my drone, the controller, the battery charger with all of the batteries and then the drone itself I'm using the Mavic mini version 2 and then the other little thing I have in there is just a cord for the controller for USB to USB C I just keep that in there in case I use a different other than my iPhone to control it and then that's it for in the bag and then in this part right here the zipper pockets is all cable and charging related things for the most part. Um, this I don't always carry with me, but there's room in the bag for it. This is from Ginky. It is the mini convert dock for the Nintendo Switch. So you have just an HDMI cable. And this is the USB-C cable that it came with. So this is a replacement for your Nintendo Switch dock. Um, I just leave it in the bag so I can bring it places. Like if I go to family's house, we can play Mario Kart or Jackbox or something fun like that. And I just leave the licensed one that came with my Switch at home. I have an AirTag in there. I recommend it for your stuff, especially if you have a lot of tech in there just to keep track of it. 
This is just a lightning to USB-C or vice versa cable from Satoshi. I like Satoshi cables. I like just how strong they are and the braided. Um, and then in this one, I have another Satoshi cable. This is a USB-C to C braided cable. Uh, this one is a cool little one. This is a plug. I, s I don't know if it's the exact same one, but Marquez Brownlee made a video a long time ago about a USB-C to C to C cable. Uh, this has a little screen on it that actually shows the wattage that whatever you're charging is using. So I picked that up, just a little niche thing. I have the MagSafe charger for my MacBook. And then my charger from Satoshi. It is a USB-C, it has three ports here. Uh, this top one is able to do 108 watts, so it'll charge a laptop. And then these two do, I think this one does up to 60, and then this one, the max will do is 45. So we can charge basically everything. I just keep that in here, and that's basically all that's in the bag. So. And as promised, I'll show you the insides of the Orbit key real quick. It's just held together with this little strap and it opens up and then I don't have anything in there. So this piece actually just comes off like that. So we'll take that off. So I just have a little pile of goodies in here. I have my cable card, which has been with me since the beginning of the channel, which actually is kind of sad because this cable <laughs> doesn't work. For anything anymore other than I will put the micro USB end on it and charge my Sony ZV-1 so and I'll use the sim tool sometimes but that's really sad because this has been through a lot but that's basically all the cord is good for now um, I have a Seagate one terabyte hard drive in here um, I had to replace my SanDisk that I had because it it just stopped working um, so I picked this up mainly just because it was cheaper than the SanDisk version for a terabyte. Um, the only gripe I have with it is that it's a proprietary connector. So that's what this little guy is in here for. And then my only gripe with this cable is just that it's a USB type A. I would have per preferred type C, but it's not the end of the world. I like Seagate, uh, the eight terabyte under my desk is a Seagate. So might as well keep them the same. Um, in here I have a Spuds microfiber cloth. This is the small one. Just another little cleaning tool that I use to keep everything clean. I like it because it comes in the little pouch. It's connected to the pouch. And then when you're done, you just shove it back in the pouch and close it up. And you're good to go. And then if you wanted to carry it on your keys, it's got a little keychain. Uh, the docks, they're making a second debut in the video. Uh, I keep them in here. This one's for the MacBook. This one is for the iPad. And then I have a pair of these. These are my Anchor MagGo 626 or 262s. Uh, it's one of those numbers. Uh, MagSafe batteries. So it's just a USB Type C. There's a little button on them that you can press to see the charge level of it. And they are just MagSafe compatible on the Mac. And they have a little stand that you can use to prop up your phone which I didn't know this for the longest time you can actually charge other things with the port on here as well so if you have something that isn't MagSafe like my switch or one of the other phones uh, you can actually charge it with that port and a USB-C port so that is neat so And that's basically the gear loadout. That's pretty much everything that I use in my creative workflow. Um, now, something I wanted to bring up, I call it the loadout, basically because everything that I've shown 
in the video. I want to make it that's the only gear I have other than some like random cords and stuff that I'll use around the house. Basically, I want my backpack and my desk to be like my gear cage, my gear cage we'll call it. Um, so I'm slowly in the process of selling and getting rid of a bunch of stuff. Um, I've actually been doing it all summer. I have a plethora of phone cases that I've had for current my current phones and previous phones that I've had that I've been selling through eBay. So if you guys want to check out some stuff that's going to be cheaper than retail and barely used, I'll leave a link to my eBay page on the description so you can go check that out. Um, right now, I think it just has cases that have been sold on it, but I'm slowly going to be transitioning into other gear that I have that I'm going to be getting rid of. So if you guys are looking to get some gear yourselves that's been possibly very well used or barely used, um, I think I'm pretty decent with my pricing. I keep pretty cheap, so go check that out. And yeah, that's basically all I have. Um, so say I'm, I'm ready for gadget season. Hopefully within the next couple months, we'll just see a lot of new cool stuff come out. Um, I know next week, iPhone 15 event, that's the big thing that's coming up that kind of starts off gadget season. I'm excited for that. I'm excited for everything that's just going to come out. I'm excited to share my thoughts and ideas on anything with you guys. So that's all I have for this video. Thanks a ton for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope you're all staying safe out there. And I will see you in the next episode. Peace out. This is, this is going to be a hard roll.